Check it. All right, y'all, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we'll look at SPY, AMC, and GME, our favorite meme stocks in the overall stock market. This is the time of the week where I give you guys a weekly prediction and weekly update for these stocks, looking at the technical analysis on the short and long term to see where I think these stocks are going and give you guys my weekly candle prediction. Do I think it's going to be red, green, or in between for these stocks? So we're going to look at that in this video, letting you guys know what type of candle is going to be printed for the week and where we're headed for the rest of the week. Do I think it's going to be downside or upside? Let's go ahead and check out the charts, the facts, the data, and see what we have going on. We're back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at SPY. We're also looking at AMC and GME, our favorite meme stocks. We are also starting to see other meme stocks start to take off, as I do think shorts are losing control. This is the time of the week where I give you guys predictions on what's going to be happening on the market. Do I think it's going to be a red or a green week for the SPY for AMC and GME? And why I think that based off of the technical analysis. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop at the charts, the facts, the data, and see what we have going on so let's hop right into spy starting off with spy and i do think we're going to have a green week for spy and this is why so i do think we're going to see potential downside in the first half of the week and then through the second half of the week see upside for spy as you guys can see this price path has been tracking for several days now i have not moved this i have not changed this i made this in a video a few weeks back and it has been tracking ever since as you guys can see we had this four 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 top out we getting this push to the downside we do have this gap fill up here that will be filled but I think we're going to see more downside for SPY here on Monday and Tuesday, getting a bottom around the 436 region and then getting a push up to the upside, eventually moving to about 450, 460 in that range, and then getting a top out and start capitulating to the downside. Now, I'm in the camp that we are entering a crash and SPY will see a major pullback. And I'm going to explain why I think SPY will see a major pullback here on the bigger time frames. If you go ahead and look at RSI, RSI is getting a double top here at the overbought territory. As you guys can see, double top at the overbought territory. And it does look like SPY is getting a double top here in this region of the 445. Again, a double top can have a slightly higher high. So that 450 region could be part of that double top. Eventually seeing a double top out and then push to the downside as we are in this macro bear flag and a bear flag does have a price target to the downside so as far as the weekly candle i do think it could be a green weekly candle but i am expecting downside in the macro aspect of spy as i do think we're going to see a major crash capitulation before we see a possible hyper hyper inflation melt up but i think we're going to see stocks come down first then see a hyperinflation, a hyperinflationary melt up on stocks and cryptocurrency. I do think Bitcoin is going to continue to move to the upside. Why do I think that? Because Bitcoin is the new gold. It's a better gold. It's a fixed cap. It's literally better than gold because it has a fixed cap. You can always go mine more gold. There's always new gold mines found. Bitcoin has a very, very fixed cap. It cannot be printed more and no one can control it. Bitcoin is going to be one of the most valuable assets that you guys ever see in your whole life in about five to 10 years. And I do think that is possible but let's go ahead and hop back in the spy showing you guys here on the macro charts as well we do have several gap fills to the downside as you guys can see gap fill here and gap fill here gaps do get filled especially on indices so we will see these gap fills to the downside filled guaranteed movement to the downside and i do think this bear flag also points out more guaranteed movement to the downside it's very very obvious that we're going to see a crash slash capitulation before a move to a higher high everyone thinks we need to start a new rally we just need to cool off before a new bull rally that is called the complacency stage in the market psychology and you guys can see that we are in the complacency stage if we go ahead and look at the market psychology chart you guys will see that we are in that stage where everyone thinks we need to just cool off before the next bull rally but this is actually the part of the point where you have the most chance to lose the most money because it's near the top you never want to buy near the top you always want to buy near the bottom and that's why positions that i am in profit on i am scaling out of those profits as we move up i'm scaling out scaling out taking profits because you always want to do the opposite of herd and as you guys can see we're on extreme greed on the market as well you always want to do the opposite of herd selling into extreme greed and buying extreme fear so that's what i'm looking at for a spy i do think it's going to be a green week for a spy here on the smaller time frames again i think we're going to see a pullback here into tuesday and monday and then see a push up here later in the week 
but then eventually a capitulation probably here in the next couple of weeks to the downside as we fill these gaps down to the downside. But we do have a gap fill above us that will need filled and then we will get that movement to the downside. So I think this price path is very, very accurate as we will come down, retesting that 436 area, getting a push to the upside, going to about 450, topping out and then moving down. And that is what I'm looking at for SPY. Let's go ahead and look at some of the data coming out on Wednesday. We have core inflation rating, core inflation rating, year over year inflation rating coming out on Wednesday. We also have PPI coming out on Thursday. This could bring the market up or down. If these numbers come in hot, it will bring the market down. If these numbers come in cold, it will bring the market up. Again, giving us that double top scenario that I do think is going to happen. Or we could see a overall crash and capitulation to the downside. So that's what I'm looking at for a SPY on the short and long term. Let's go ahead and look at the meme stocks, AMC and GME, and see what is going on. So we are having pops to the upside on BBIG. Um, stocks like Mullen, Carvana, we're seeing move to the upside. Riot, we're all seeing these stocks move to the upside. And this is going to start putting pressure on the shorts as they are getting attacked from all angles. Again, BBIG, um, a Atter, uh, all these stocks are seeing movements to the upside, pop to the upside, and this is what I'm looking at based off of the charts. I do think shorts are getting squeezed from all angles, and we are about to see things start to break as the AMC court date gets wrapped up and we get a decision. I do think we're going to see that movement as soon as the judge makes her decision. Let's go ahead and look at some of the technicals on AMC showing that we are going to see some bullishness last week was a red week i do think this week is going to be a green week as we had a red week yesterday we are consolidating in this overall falling wedge as you guys can see we're consolidating in this falling wedge about to make a push to the upper resistance and if we can break above this upper resistance you're going to see that push to about six dollars and twenty cents very very quickly as we move to this five dollar and fifty cent region breaking past five dollars and fifty cents and then push to six dollars and twenty cents breakout target of this falling wedge is that six dollar and twenty cent local high so that is what i'm looking to be broken once we move to the upside breaking the sloping resistance at about four dollars and sixty cents so we need to get above four dollars and sixty cents in that region using this as support so you want to see a break above use it as support confirm it as support and then push to the upside so i do think we're going to see a green week we could possibly see a breakout of this falling wedge this week we are seeing slight pullback here in after hours for amc but i want to show you guys that it's outside of the bollinger bands here on the two hour time frame way outside of the bollinger bands we're going to see price come back inside the bands you're already seeing price that start to snap back as this wick went outside the bands and went exactly back inside of the bands i do think we're going to break out of this micro falling wedge here and then push to this upper sloping resistance and then test that that could probably happen around tuesday or wednesday monday or tuesday i do think we're going to see more downside and then recovery later into the week so i do think we're going to see downside on monday or tuesday monday and tuesday possibly then start to see recovery on wednesday thursday and friday for amc making it a green week overall so this is what i'm looking at for amc on the short term i want to point out that we do have buy signals here on the four hour time frame we do have buy signals letting us know that we're probably going to see a rally to the upside you can see the buy signal right here on the four hour time frame letting us know that we have potential upside as we do consolidate in this overall falling wedge pattern and we do have a micro falling wedge here on the smaller time frame inside of this larger falling wedge again if we can break this smaller falling wedge it will take us right up to the sloping resistance here and if we can break that sloping resistance here that will take us up to about five dollars and fifty cents six dollars and twenty cents is the next price target after that five dollar and fifty cent region is broken so this is what i'm looking at for amc cost of borrow is starting to skyrocket to the upside as you guys can see cost of borrow is starting to skyrocket to the upside and we have an insane put to call ratio this is one way that they try to hold these stocks down i do think once we get this decision from the judge we are going to see that movement to the upside that we are all waiting for also amc still on the threshold security list we are still on the threshold security list ftds are starting to pick up we are seeing things start to break in the background as these numbers start to heat up some people think that this stuff doesn't matter this stuff is the most important because this tells you what's going on in the background if you're looking at price only you will be deceived because price is is here to shake you out and manipulate you and psych psych you out psych 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 you out psychologically sorry about that tongue twister psych you out psychologically 
with these types of dumps and pumps to the upside, especially when they start dumping ape and pumping ape and doing stuff like that, or dumping ape or making ape go up and then letting AMC go down. This is all stuff to mess with your head. Try to make you change positions. Try to make you sell AMC for ape, vice versa. Just try to make you not so sure of what's going at what's going down and cause fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So I do think AMC is going to see a green week overall for this. And once we break out of this falling wedge, we're going to see a nice push to the upside. This falling wedge is literally what needs to be broken. And I think as soon as we get the judge's decision, that is what's going to happen. So this is what I'm looking at for AMC based off of the technicals. Again, I do think it's going to be a green week. I think we're going to see downside on Monday and Tuesday. Again, I think we're going to see possible downside on Monday and Tuesday and then start recovering later into the week. So that is something that you guys should keep your eyes open for on Monday and Tuesday and then throughout the later end of the week. Let's go ahead and hop into GME and show you guys what I'm looking at for GME stock based off of the technicals and fundamentals and if i think it's going to be a green or red red week for gme so gme is looking good in my personal opinion holding sloping resistance as support so this has been resistance for over two years again i say this over and over in my videos this has been resistance for over two years the macro for GME looks really, really good. Okay, the macro for GME looks great. We're breaking out of this falling wedge. We're holding this resistance as support. Right now, if you go ahead and look at the four-hour time frame, we are above this resistance. Now, I do think GME is going to see downside as well, possibly here on Monday and even Tuesday. Looks like just for GME, it'll probably just be Monday if we do see a little bit of pullback down to that 22.15 range, 22.19 range. If we do see that, I do think we're going to get a nice bounce to the upside as we do have this falling wedge marked here in white. And it comes right down to the point right where we need to retest that sloping resistance. Again, this has been resistance for two years. So it needs to be retested multiple times as support to confirm it as support. Once confirmed as support, you're going to see GME make that move to 25 and $30. Again, GME is building a base to make the move to 25 to $30. That is what GME is doing right now. It is in a bullish uptrend ever since $15. If you go ahead and zoom out, when in doubt, zoom out. You guys can see we've been making higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low repeatedly. What comes next? Higher high, higher high, higher high. What comes next? A higher high. It's very obvious that GME is building a base, a very bullish base to make a move above $25 to $30. Again, the technicals are looking very, very bullish for GME to make that move that we are all waiting for. Once GME breaks above $25 to $30, you're going to see things get crazy, especially once it breaks that $30 mark. You're going to see things get crazy because shorts are highly underwater at that level, and $30 is an extreme support and resistance. So once $30 is broken and used as support, you're going to see a push up to that $40, $50, $60 region very, very quickly for GME, especially because shorts are so underwater at those levels. Again, the macro looks really, really good as we are breaking out of this falling wedge. We have the Bollinger Band starting to constrict on the weekly time frame, and we have Green Weekly MACD. All of these things lined up together to uh, accumulate together with this last run up here and this run up here. So we do are looking at for a possible big push to the upside for GME, especially if it can get above that $30 range, which is basically the golden zone for GME. Again, the only thing you don't want to see GME do is go below the sloping resistance and not use it as support. So that price point that we need to hold is 22.15, 22.30, around that range. We need to hold at least $22, in my personal opinion. And once we confirm that as support on Tuesday or Monday, once we come back down to that 22.15 region on Monday or Tuesday, back down to this level here, confirming as support, I do think GME is going to start to recover. So same thing for AMC. I do think it's, and like I said, for C AMC, basically downside in the first half of the week and then a push to the upside in the later half of the week. So that's what I'm looking at based off of the technicals and the charts for GME. I do think it is going to be a green week for GME. I do think we're going to get a green weekly candle. We will, we will revisit this video at the end of the week, seeing if I was right with my predictions. So we are seeing a green week for AMC, a green week for GME, and a possible green week for SPY. Again, if it does get that recovery at the end of the week, I do think GME and AMC are going to start to decouple from SPY, especially SPY when SPY starts to crash. Now, something that people often forget about AMC and GME is 
because the way that they are involved with the stock market and the shorts like that, if we see a black swan, like banks start to crash or a major capitulation in the market, you're going to see AMC and GME run. You're going to see them run because of the lack of liquidity. Hedge funds started to get margin called. You're going to see these stocks start to run. So I want everyone to be aware of that, that a, a black swan could cause a squeeze on these stocks at any time, and they are the ultimate hedge. <clears throat> So with that being said, guys, this is pretty much everything I have for you. Again, green week for AMC, green week for GME, and a possible green week for SPY. Again, it's probably going to be a mostly flat week. We're going to see downside for both of all of these stocks in the first half of the week if we do not hold these key level supports of $22. AMC at $4 and, or $4.15 it needs to hold, and SPY needs to hold for 36 as support or we will see down side for these stocks so with that being said that is the video if you found it informative go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content like this and remember you can check me out on twitter and discord for even more data zero updates and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out all right, yeah, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe for more content like this. And remember, if you want to support me for free, all you have to do is drop a like and leave a comment or press subscribe. That is a great way to support me for free. If you want to support me in other ways, you can go ahead and join the channel. It's $2.99 a month to join the membership. You get a ton of benefits and perks for doing so. I see all of your comments. You also get special badges and idiomos for joining the channel. Just press join next to the subscribe button underneath my channel. I also have a Discord. A Discord, I talk about my stocks, cryptos, trades, and drop new trades and technical analysis on the Discord. is $50 for a lifetime invite. You can go ahead and hit me up on Twitter or Instagram to get into the Discord. Just message me on Twitter or Instagram, link down below to get in the Discord. $50 for a lifetime invite. And I'm also making a trading class showing you guys how I make these calls, these accurate predictions, and navigate the market myself. Making money and printing money almost every single day making these accurate predictions showing you guys how i do that as well the trading course will be available soon i'll make an announcement as soon as it is available on the channel so everyone knows when it is ready it's going to be about 150 dollars for the trading course and that will allow you into the discord as well so you can ask questions and learn with that being said this is the video and if you did find it informative go ahead and drop a like subscribe and as always have fun stay safe make money Peace out.